Hello and welcome to the second little clip on the subject of rationalising the denominator. In the first clip we looked at a situation like this where the denominator is a simple third expression, root 3, and we saw that if you just multiply that by itself, the denominator, you square it and then rationalise it that way. But what happens if you've got a more complicated denominator like this, or like this? Well that's the subject of this little clip. First of all, we need to investigate what happens when we uh, multiply out or expand brackets like that one. You should notice that we get that pattern, but the centre two cancel each other out, and so we get a simple a squared minus b squared. Uh, we can do that in reverse. Factorising a squared minus b squared gives us that pattern, and that's what we call factorising the difference of two squares. You should be familiar with that. However, we're going to be looking at it the first way round. Now what happens if you've got an expression like that? Well, let's try it. Let's multiply them all out. And once again, this centre part uh, is one, pi one minus and one plus, and so they cancel each other out. And so what are we left with? Those two, which are both rational, three minus two is one. So this quite complicated expression actually simplifies down to one. What about that one? Well, very similar. And what about this one? Looks more uh, complicated, but it's not really. You just uh, square both parts and have a minus sign between them. Bear in mind that squaring 2 root 5 is 4 times 5, and then 9 times 2. 20 minus 18 is 2. Once again, a very complicated expression becoming a very simple integer expression. So, that should give us a, a, a clue as to how we tackle something like this. If we multiply this expression by the same expression but with its sign changed, this time from plus to minus, multiply by the same thing top and bottom because uh, that keeps the fraction the same value, now multiply out these tops and bottoms. Expand the top and the bottom top goes like that, and the bottom just becomes two brackets, like that. Two minus two brackets, two minus root three, over two squared minus root three squared is that. And the denominator is now four minus three, or one. So that really simplifies it. We've got a final solution, two minus two brackets, two minus root three, or four minus two root three. Either will do as an answer. Let's have a look at this one. On the bottom we've got uh, root 5 minus root 2, so if we multiply the top and bottom by root 5 plus root 2, the same effect is going to happen. We're going to rationalise the denominator. But of course we have to multiply the top and bottom by the same thing to keep the fraction the same value. So let's do that. Expanding the top, more complicated this time, but there's nothing particularly difficult about it. And the bottom is like that. Put that expression, and that's going to be our final answer, because there's not a lot we can do about simplifying the numerator, the top of that expression. So that's rationalising the denominator uh, when there's a slightly more complicated denominator than we saw in the first video.